So I've been thinking a lot lately about my goals and what I want out of life, what I want to achieve. Through all this self-reflection and just goal casting, I came to the conclusion that you should just do it for yourself. I know that's a super vague, just sparkle sentence, so let me try my best to explain to you what I mean. So this cup is going to represent you, and this is going to represent your happiness or your fulfillment. So let's take this for example. This is your job, and this is you. So we'll fill this a good amount, right? So we have our fulfillment here. This is maybe 25% of the cup, and this is good. This tastes good. It, it makes me less thirsty. Uh, it, it fills me up, right? Now, let's pretend that this is work we do on the weekends or after our 9 to 5s, things that truly just fill us up. Looks like a full cup to me. That was kind of a silly analogy. Hopefully that kind of resonated with you. I hope so, because now I have a cup of LaCroix, and I feel like a cup of LaCroix is nasty. I don't know why. It's not good in a cup. I feel like it's only good in a can. So I hope that made sense to you. What I'm trying to say is outside of my 9 to 5 is where I find most of my fulfillment and where I'm most proud of the work that I'm creating. Don't get me wrong. I love what I do. I feel very fortunate to be able to do graphic design, and be creative for a living. But it's not always the things that I like to do, right? That's the nature of the business. I'm helping other people achieve their dreams. When I look back on the things that I'm most proud of, I always go to this channel that I've started. I mean, you guys have been watching this for a while now, and I've built up such a library of videos that I'm so proud of that I look back upon, and I just, I feel really full from seeing them. Not only that, but I've gotten to explore just more creativity through my own art. I get to do things that I enjoy. I mean, look at these plants. I've been having a lot of fun taking care of these, growing them. I mean, these are the things that get me excited and just give me that energy, right? You might be saying, Caleb, I still don't understand. Let me put it to you this way. If you want to be a photographer, you got to be taking, you got to be taking photos. You just have to be. So outside of your nine to five, you might work at the grocery store. You might, you might do Uber, whatever you did, whatever it is outside of that. That's when you got to be pursuing that, right? Like, so if you want to apply for uh, a photography job or you want to take photos at a wedding, they're going to ask, well, can I see what you've done? And if you haven't done anything yet, why would they? You got to build these skills, right? So the best time to do this is outside of your nine to five. Start pursuing this. You want to be an artist? Make art. You got to make art. You want to work in the food industry? You got to start making food. I mean, I know this is simple stuff and I'm just repeating myself, but outside where you get your fulfillment, that is where you need to be spending your time. And eventually those things could lead to full-time careers. Now don't, don't get caught up on that. It doesn't have to. For example, I really like to skate. Am I that good at skating? No. Will I ever be professional? No. And that's fine. That's not what I'm going for. I need to do this stuff because this is what fills me and makes me feel fulfilled and it sparks that creativity. You made a big mistake thinking I would wait. You never took the time and now it's too late. I hate to I just recently picked up this truck. And I was kind of on the fence about it. I was like, do I need to spend the money? Is it worth my time? Yada, yada, yada. But I did. I picked it up and I love this thing. I love spending time with it. I love just driving it. And this is another one of those things that just do it for yourself. I mean, it's not the most efficient vehicle. I mean, I work remote. I don't even really go that many places, but I love this thing. It's one of those things that it's just filling me. It's making me feel happy and it's one of those things outside of my nine to five that I need to pursue in order to feel creative, in order to feel fulfilled. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I feel like I just use this as an example in order to put this in the video because I freaking love driving this thing and I thought this would be a cool shot. And from the looks of it, it's pretty dope, so. I know some of you too might think, you know, Caleb, this is hard. I, I'm tired after my nine to five. I just want to go home. I just want to take a nap. You know, I want to watch Netflix. And for the most part, I'm right there with you. Once I'm off the computer, I don't want to be on the computer anymore. 
But I have these goals and these dreams that are just in my head that I can't shake. So I'm willing to go through some of that difficult things to get to where I want to go. Look, I understand it's hard. Things in life are hard, you know. I've decided that running is hard, but I don't want to be out of shape. That was much harder for me for my mental. So I choose this hard, and that goes for like doing my work outside of my nine to five. I'm tired, but I want these goals and I want these things. So I just hunger down and do it, you know. And I know that sounds easier, especially because I'm doing this for a video and blah blah blah. But I really do mean it. I'm willing to work hard to get what I want to achieve. <laughs> I don't know how influencers do that. That feels so stupid and awkward. Just running and picking up the phone and then placing it running away. I don't know if that's for me. So this is the part of the video where I tell you no more excuses. Pretty much anything you want to do, you probably already have the tools to do it. I mean, you want to be a writer? Start writing. I got a pen. I got a, I got a notebook. You want to be an artist? Just start making art. I mean, I know you can find some paper and I know you can find some materials. It doesn't have to be top notch. It doesn't matter. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you need to be doing just because you like to do it. Now, here's the biggest thing. Everybody wants to make content now, right? Like, I get it. I love making content. I've been doing it for a while. I love it. I've got this nice camera. I'm sure everything looks nice. I've got lighting, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Go back to my early videos. I was doing it anyways. And guess what? The phones now are so much better than when I started. The running section in this video was actually just filmed with my iPhone. It looks great. It's 4K. You guys probably didn't even notice that I changed cameras in between this. Just start. Start doing it. I don't think you have any excuses. If you think you do something that, you know, Caleb, you don't know what you're talking about, leave it in the comments. We'll go back and forth. Maybe you're right. But I doubt it. I feel like you could just start just start today. Start doing it for yourself. That's all I got. I mean, I feel like I can't say this any more ways. I feel like this video is done. I've said it. Do it for yourself. You're going to feel better. It's going to make you happy. You'll feel fulfilled. Just do it. Trust me. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you like this video. I know it's a little bit different, a little bit more of that blog style. I really had a lot of fun making it. So if you guys like it, please let me know in the comments below. We'll create more like this. Until the next one, you guys know what to do. Peace.